Apache helicopters being armed in readiness for their first mission over Libya. They take off from HMS Ocean and head out to Brega. Their orders to help break the stalemate there. It was a successful mission. Their payload taking out a radar installation and an armed checkpoint where military vehicles were stationed. It just brings something else to the party. As I said, you know, we, we're able to fly lower, slower, different munitions. It's an escalation, and, and, I, and I think, you know, we are committed to support and protect the civilians that Gaddafi is persecuting. The targets these Apache helicopters are picking out have been spotted by scouts like Mohammed, the opposition army's most effective weapon here in the east. While his brigade is one of a number that make up the front line circling the east of Brega, Mohammed says he's routinely conducting scouting missions far west into enemy territory. He travels alone and undercover as far as North Alia, the furthest town anti-government forces managed to take back in March that's now back under Gaddafi control. I reached a very advanced location. They want to kill me for that, but it means I have information about their positions and front line and the numbers of infantry and the types of vehicles. The intelligence he gathers is relayed directly to NATO and the coordinates given to the fighter jets. Mohammed tells me he also knows just what Gaddafi's men are leaving behind. These are what the scouts have been finding in and around the outskirts of Brega, anti-personnel mines buried in the sand by Gaddafi's troops. These will leave a legacy that threatens to kill and maim civilians long after this war has ended. Government forces are just over the horizon from this base. They often pick up the Gaddafi soldiers' chatter on their radios. The officers tell us that 25 have surrendered over the past two weeks. They believe 80% of them are under 20 years old. In the no-man's land between the two fronts, they've painted a phone number on rocks and planted a flag. It's the surrender hotline. There's one Gaddafi brigade which is called to say that if the rebels go into Brega near the beach, they're waiting to surrender. We don't know yet if we should trust this information. But unless the whole of Gaddafi's men put down their weapons and make that call, Mohammed says he will keep slipping past the enemy lines, scouting for NATO. Sutert and Al Jazeera on the eastern Libyan front line.